Okay, so I'm just before we get into the uh, get into the hive, I'm just going to make myself a uh, uh, appropriate tech bee brush. It's just some uh, some fresh grass that I that I cut. I'm going to uh, cut the uh, cut the ends to be uh, fairly fairly even, and then I'm going to just tie it off. I happen to have a, a hairband handy, so I'm just going to use that to keep uh, the stalks together. Um, but you could use a stalk of grass itself to wrap around there or whatever you happen to have handy a piece of string or whatever. So now we've got a nice little nice little bee brush. Um, I carry a carry a small paintbrush with uh, with soft bristles that can be used in a pinch. But uh, actually I, I always find that the, the, the grass brush is just a lot softer and, and uh, will uh, will not um, molest the bees nearly as much as, as even a, a soft bristled brush might. So, normally, normally you'd, uh, you'd be doing this with two people so that you can ensure that one person is keeping the, keeping the smoke going and the other person can uh, manipulate uh, the hive. Handle hive. It, 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 uh, well, if you have two people, it's ideal, it's ideal to do that in, in any location, but particularly if you're working with African bees, mm. you really want to do it with two people. And, uh, one of the other one of the other things that you can do if you if you take a look here, um, this hive was sitting actually over here when we started. We just moved the hive a couple of feet. Sorry, I went way too far on the zoom. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. The, the hive was uh, here when we started this morning. We, we moved it a couple of feet, and you can see all the bees, hopefully, <laughs> flying around here, uh, just because they become disoriented. Uh, the bees. Uh, have essentially little GPS unit, little global positioning systems in their built into their bodies, and they orient to the to the location uh, of the hive as opposed to the hive itself. So you see, even though we've only moved the the colony a couple of feet, they're quite oriented to that location. So any of the bees returning from the field that weren't inside the colony when we moved it are are going to be flying around out here. So that's a characteristic that is actually quite uh, handy to use if you're working very defensive bees, such as such as African strains of bees. What you can do, what I what I recommend doing is, uh, if you're working a, a nasty hive of bees or any African colonies, uh, is uh, to to uh, move the hive uh, from its location into a nice shady spot uh, where you're not going to be knocked knocking in branches or anything and uh, put a put a new hive or an empty hive from the apiary in the location of the old hive so the bees that are returning uh, from the field can have somewhere to go into uh, because those field bees are the older bees which are the ones that have the, the, the full complement of venom and are uh, the ones that uh, behave to protect the hive and in other words the ones that are most likely to sting you. So if you can leave those bees behind at the original hive location, your beekeeping management activities are going to be much more pleasant. 